How you doing? My name, if you're new here, if you're not, you know my name, but if you're new here, my name is Jackie, spelled with a Q, not a K. J-A-C-Q-I-E, Jackie. You'd be amazed how many people spell my name wrong. Okay, so I have like one hour to film, so I'm gonna try to film semi-quickly once I figure out what I'm doing. So, because I have an hour, I'm just going to pick through this lovely box of goodies that my friend Stacy sent me. And we're going to play with some stuff. So, let's see what we can find. Uh, what is this? Let's see. Go Brow Brow Mascara. Clear. Ooh, we're gonna try that today. This is a brush. Oh, you're smart, Jenny. By Makeup Geek. Ooh, nice. Hey, there's another one. Ooh, made in China. Oh, everything's made in China. Sweet. Awesome. Awesome. Ooh, more brushes. B contour brush and an angled contour brush. Ah, so many things. Okay, all right, okay, I cannot go through everything. I don't have time. So, let's find some stuff. What am I gonna do? All right, let's see here. Oh gosh, there's just so much. <laughs> We're going to try this plump gloss from LA Colors. Instantly plumps lips tingling sensation. We're going to try that. And oh, we're going to put these brushes here. I don't think I can use all these brushes today. I probably could. They require opening them. Heard that. Are we really going there? Oh, every time now. Every time. Okay. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? There's so many options. What do I do? What do I do? Okay. Oh, uh, crap. <laughs> Let's, what's this? Powder blush. Let's check this out. This is by Beauty Bay. And this is the shade Coral. Let's check the other one because I don't know how much of a corally look I'm going to do. Let's check. I heard that. What am I doing? I don't know. Oh goodness. I literally just saw it. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, it was here. Oh, this one. Ooh, royal. This is like a ooh, let's. Ah! There's so much. Okay. Look at look at look at. We're gonna try this. Oh heck yeah, that is such a pretty color. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know what to do for my eyes, for my eyes. I don't know what to do for my eyes, for my eyes. What do I do? Do I do the, 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 the Ofra? Do I do the ColourPop? Oh my gosh, what do I do? Oh my God, there's just, do I do Profusion? Like, ah! There's options. Okay, I got, I got options. Let's see. All right, let's look at the Ofra. That's beautiful. I'm trying to figure out what I would do. Okay, let's check out the Cherish. Oh, shit. Hmm. This will go with the lip. Okay, we're going to use Cherished, the Cherish. Cherish palette by ColourPop. We're gonna use this one because it looks like it'll go with the lip color. All right. Good times. All right, so this is what we're doing. All right. And the blush, dang, y'all. I'm in like a burgundy mood. I'm wearing teal. I don't know what's happening. Okay. <laughs> Where is? Eye primer, you know, you know. If you know, you know. Don't ask. I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Need to get like more sponges like these. I don't. 
I feel. I don't know what I feel. <laughs> uh, I feel rushed, but I always feel rushed. It's part of my anxiety. I don't know why. Always feeling like I have to hurry in everything I do. Like, I could have four hours and I'd be like, I don't have time. I don't know what that is. And it's not that I'm bad at time management or anything because like, I do things fairly quickly. So it's like, I don't, I honestly don't know. Honestly don't have a clue. <sighs> but it is what it is. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's open this up. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, pretty. Pretty? Pretty. Okay, I'm gonna start with the color Adore. This nice tan shade. Just gonna use a, I don't know, what the hell is this? A profusion brush, I think. Is this? I think this is a profusion brush. It came in one of the palettes. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. La 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 la. Why? What is with the limbo? Almost every video I make, I hum or la 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 the stupid limbo song. Why do I do that? What is it about filming that makes me think of a limbo? <laughs> it's not even, I don't know. Crazy, crazy. I feel like I had things to say and then, you know, I turn on the camera and I forget. I'm like, what was I going to talk about? I was going to talk about stuff. And I don't know what the hell I'm going to talk about. I hate it when that happens because then I feel like I'm just sitting here quietly doing my makeup and you guys are like, I'm bored. <clears throat> oh, you know, one thing I was going to talk about holidays and how I absolutely hate the end of every year. October to January. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Can't stand it. Can't stand it. <sighs> I'm gonna take the shade Forever right here. We're gonna put that in the outer corner. Oh, do, 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 do. What brush do we want to use for that? I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know. You would think I would know by now what brushes to use for shit. I, I use a different brush every time, I swear. Swear! I swear! It's good. Alright, I'm just going to use this little brush. This was a Ulta Beauty brush. It's a crease brush. I'm using it in my outer corner. Yep. So... Okay, so reasons why I absolutely, which kind of sucks though, because like October is both my son's birthday and my husband's birthday. So it sucks that I hate October so much, but I think they equally hate October. I mean, luckily my son's birthday is, I hear you. God, please don't be somewhere. Oh, I can't with this anymore. Come on, I'm over it. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> uh, luckily, my son's, I'm scared, my son's birthday is at the beginning of October. It's the second. Okay, I think he's just making noise because the heat was just on. Okay, um, and so like it's not like too terrible. My husband's, on the other hand, is October 29th, so it's like close to Halloween, so it comes with us. So, why I hate October? I can't stand Halloween. I hate Halloween so much. I do not find Halloween fun. I don't find terrifying things to be exciting. I hate being scared. I cannot stand being scared. It, I just don't, something about fearing for your life doesn't sound like fun to me. 
even though, like, if you go in a haunted house, you know that they can't hurt you. I don't know. I don't like, I'm not an adrenaline junkie. I like to keep my adrenaline low. <laughs> like, I just don't, there's nothing fun about being scared to me. It's, it's, it's anxiety inducing. I can't, I can't. I have, I can get scared all by myself. I don't need help. <laughs> like riding in a car and a leaf blows in front of me scares the hell out of me. Okay, I'm like, oh shit, what was that? Like, no, I, I don't need help in that department. And the, I just, there's nothing fun about Halloween to me. I, I hate it. I've always hated it. Well, okay, that's not true. Now, I don't know. Because I remember, like, you guys are like, I don't give a shit, Jackie. But what else am I going to talk about? I remember as a kid going trick-or-treating, but I also remember being terrified. <laughs> and I, I don't, I think the only thing I liked about Halloween was getting candy. I really don't think I liked the actual trick-or-treating part of Halloween. Two years in a row, I went as a witch, lost my hat, my witch hat, blew away, because it was windy, and I cried, and my dad had to try to find it. I don't think he found it. He may have found it the first time. He definitely didn't find it the second time. Two years in a row, you'd think we'd learn. But like, I remember going to houses and being absolutely like, terrified. I fell off somebody's porch once into their bush because I couldn't see through like, I, I think I was wearing like a pumpkin mask or something and I couldn't see well and I fell into their bush. So there was that that happened and then this one house had all these like flickering lights and spooky music and I was like so scared to go up to it. And when I did go up to it, some guy came running around like, with like a pretend chainsaw wearing a costume scared the hell out of me. Like, it's not fun. I don't think scaring children is fun. I think it's cruel. <laughs> you, it's traumatizing, okay? It just is, it is. I've, I'm traumatized and I will not, I don't do haunted house. If you've seen videos of my past, I mean, I've been doing this for five years. I've talked about haunted houses in the past. If you've seen them, you know. I don't do haunted houses. Nope, I don't do it. Not at all. All right, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put some of this faith shade right next to that darker burgundy brownish. Ooh, look at it. It's like a red. It's like, mm, it's almost like a burgundy copper. Look at that. That's pretty. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Do you see it? Do you see it? Mm, pretty. That is pretty. Oh, I like that. Oh, I didn't get out a makeup wipe. I never do, Jerry. You never do. So that's why I hate October. And then comes November, which is Thanksgiving. Actually, okay, there's a little more to the October, November hatred. <laughs> it's a strong word. It's not even stronger than any other word in the freaking dictionary. But okay, I hate it when people say that. Hate, that's right, hate. I hate that people think hate is a strong word. <laughs> Anyways, what was I saying? <laughs> I was saying something. Oh, also, how or how, not only do I not like Halloween, but they start putting Christmas shit out <laughs> in October. Like, I literally, I went grocery shopping today and saw like some Christmas shirts, like one that looked like an elf shirt, and then one that had Santa on it. And I was like, no, no, why, why? Why? I hate that. And we will get to why I don't like Christmas in a minute. Okay? Okay. So next it is Thanksgiving. And um, I grew up going to my parents' house for Thanksgiving until my mom passed away. And my mom always cooked Thanksgiving. And I cooked Thanksgiving dinner one time. And I just, I don't know. I just, I don't like it. I don't make food like my mom used to make. 
turkey it's like why am i gonna make a giant turkey for three fucking people i'm not gonna do that i don't, I don't have fucking time for this shit i'm not doing it so it's like i don't know it's just a freaking another day you know to me it's not anything special anymore because family used to come oh i'm gonna go in with um destiny that nice shimmer shade and i'm gonna put that on the inner part of said eyelid um so like i don't really give a shit about thanksgiving to be honest i know that's not what it's about but like well, it kind of is <laughs> it's about being thankful what am i i don't i mean i can be thankful every fucking day of the year i don't need a special day to do so you know what i mean i'm thankful every day that i have my son and my husband Every day, because they keep me going, for sure. So, like, I don't need a day for this. Mm-hmm. I can do it any day. And then, that's, like, November around Thanksgiving. You know, the fucking day after, there's Black Friday. Don't get me freaked to start on Black Friday, okay? It's, it's stupid. I'm just uh, too many people too many people um all right I'm gonna take the uh, crease brush and just kind of blend probably should have taken the outer corner brush first and blended in here then the crease okay um so there's that you know the day the day actually some well, they don't really, for a minute they were doing it. They were starting Black Friday, like early on Thursday. And I was like, <laughs> it's freaking Thanksgiving. I don't even think stores should be freaking open on Thanksgiving, or some of them aren't. But a lot are. And I was like, you can't give us one freaking day? Like, anyways, so then uh, a lot of people had a problem with that and they kind of, they don't really do that anymore. Now they actually give you Thanksgiving because like a lot of people had to go to freaking work because they were doing that, you know? Anyways, so there's that. And how we how we feeling about this look? I think it's very pretty. I like it. It's very pretty. I'm digging it, dude. So this was the Cherish Press Powder Palette by ColourPop. All right, let's curl these lashes. Actually, you should probably put on some primer. Crap, primer. Man, I really should. When's the last time I bought primer? I might want to invest in some primer. Why didn't I buy primer? I thought setting spray. Anyways, okay, um, I guess we'll just use this again. What was I saying? I forgot. Oh yeah, so then there's Black Friday, right the day after freaking Thanksgiving, which, like I said, I don't know, because Thanksgiving's just another freaking day to me. And then, the day after Thanksgiving, some, some places before Thanksgiving, but always at least the day after Thanksgiving, or on Thanksgiving, uh, they play Christmas music. And that leads us to December. Which I can't stand. Christmas, I know, I get told by everybody. So my mother passed away three days after Christmas in 2003. She passed away December 28th. And my mom always loved Christmas and everybody always came home for Christmas at least if they could. The only time they didn't was, I'm pretty sure the only time was when my brother was in the military. He couldn't come home once. And I'm almost positive that was after my mom died. So I'm pretty sure everybody came home every year. My mom was alive. So then 2003, she passes away three days after Christmas, which just happened to be the day everybody was leaving to go home from visiting so they ended up staying and 
And uh, yeah, I've hated Christmas ever since because it hasn't. It's it's not Christmas anymore. I I really I tried really hard <laughs> to make like like Christmas for my child and I there's just something about grief that it's really just difficult sometimes so I hate Christmas <laughs> um, it changed the year after she passed away that Christmas we end up going to Long Island for Christmas instead of everybody coming home because everybody thought it would be too sad to be there because she wasn't there but I was angry because one I don't travel I hate traveling so much I don't I don't like feeling uncomfortable if I don't know where I am I'm uncomfortable I just don't like it I have real problems I don't know how to overcome these issues either because I feel like my therapist isn't helping me <laughs> Anyways, so I was pretty upset because one, I was mad because I was like, so everything's just going to change now because mom's not here. Like, that's not cool to me. I don't want things to change. And you know, when that one person that holds the family together passes away, everything changes. It was that situation. All right. Uh, I got to stop this and then restart it because it's going to stop on its own in a minute. Hold on. And we're back. Okay. I'm going to use a mascara because that's what you do when you do your makeup. All right. I'm just going to use my Lash Princess. So, <clears throat> hey, Christmas. Nobody comes home for Christmas anymore. Um, they try to come home, like, in the summer. But... See, I call it home because I still live here, but to them, it's no longer home. It's really just, it's not home anymore. But, it's, I don't know. It's just not the freaking same, man. When they used to come home before, they would be home for like five days to a week. And now they come home and they're there for like, three days and then they're out like they come in stay a day maybe two and then leave like it's, it's almost it's I don't know I mean I get it you have to go back to work and shit it's just not the same man it's just not the same and Christmas what the fuck is Christmas anymore kid doesn't even care about Christmas like he doesn't give a shit last year if I'm if I'm remembering correctly which I think I am I think it was last year he got his freaking presents, like, a couple days before Christmas. Like, he got, he did not want to wait till Christmas to open a present. He said he didn't care. It didn't matter if he opened them on Christmas or not. He said he doesn't like Christmas either, which kind of sucks because he got that from me. And I know he got that from me. And, I, I'm like I said, I tried to make Christmas enjoyable, but I don't, there's, I just, I can't. I just don't like it. It's not the same. It'll never be the same. And it's just, I can't. So, yeah, he didn't even have, like, he didn't even open presents on Christmas. <laughs> what do I want to wear? I'm going to spray this sponge that I probably, yeah. Man, fuck it. S sponge I used last time I did my makeup. I'm going to keep using it. I'm going to use this. What's left this mystified hydrating facial mist. I'm going to spray the sponge with it. So when I tap in my foundation, it's hydrating. <laughs> I just sprayed some shit over here. Soak in. Okay, he stopped. There's that. I'm going to do some... What time is it? Oh, shit. I better hurry. I'm going to do some... No, I'm not. Okay, I'm just going to uh, put on my foundation. I'm going to use the Revolution. This is the IRL Filter Foundation. 
by Revolution. Revolution. Nah. I used it once, thought it was a little drying, which is also why I sprayed this with that hydrating mist. Hopefully it'll help. I put on some hyaluronic acid and moisturizer before I started, but I also did that the last time and this still seemed a tad dry, but we're gonna see how I feel feel about it with this hydrating stuff on the sponge. It smells like bubble gum. Did anybody notice this? Does anybody else have this foundation? Smell it. It smells like bubble gum. Why does it smell like bubble gum? Is this a bad thing? I don't know. All right, I'm going to take my sponge. Take what's left on my hand and whack myself in the head. Okay. <laughs> Why do I hit myself so hard? I don't know. I just asked a question and answered it myself. Yeah. It's fine. I'm fine. What is it? It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. That's what my shirt says today. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. <sighs> Boop, 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 boop. Oh, okay, so that's why I hate uh, Christmas, which I'm sure y'all can understand. I mean, come on. If you can't understand, you haven't lost anybody that you are really close to. Um, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure just about everybody has lost somebody that they're close to. Even if it's just a pet. I mean, even if it's a pet, it takes a toll, man. It really does, truthfully. Anyways, so it can really, you know, Ruin a holiday. Wow. That was, that's scary. Wow, I look like a ghost. What the? F it's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna fix it. We're gonna try. <laughs> oh my god. But the weird thing is, it's like, okay, it might be, it, come on, look at this. It almost matches my neck. Like, damn, Jaggy, who knew you were this light? My face, for some reason, is always a darker shade than my neck, which is weird because that's, is that normal? Shouldn't my face be the same shade as my neck? But I'm wondering if maybe it's the redness that I have in my face that makes it seem like my face is darker than my neck, but it's really just the, the overpigmentation of the beautiful redness that I'm going to use the um, IRL Filter Finish Concealer as well. I have not stopped using this since I uh, got it. I really like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Man, I am white. Okay. <laughs> no shit, Jackie. <laughs> you can go around. Okay. I'm going to turn this over on this side and tap that in. So, okay, yep, that's that's Christmas. Moving on to New Year's Eve. Okay, got a couple of things for New Year's Eve, okay? So, when my mom passed away in 2003, we, oh, Jesus. So, it was, I don't know, if you live in a cold climate, you know that sometimes you cannot bury somebody in the winter because the ground is too hard, right? Well, this happened to be a mild winter, so we w didn't have to wait, which was good because who wants to go back in the spring where you live trauma all over again? Nobody. So we were able to have her funeral and bury her. Unfortunately, the day we had her funeral and buried her was New Year's Day. So happy new year time to bury your mother. So that, that was the beginning of crappy New Year's. <laughs> not happy, crappy. Um, that was not fun. So that's a bad, you know, a bad time for New Year's. And then the last time I felt optimistic about a new year was 2020. <laughs> so we see where that went, don't we? Yep. 
We do. 2020. I really thought that was going to be a good year. I really did. I was like, this is going to be a good year. I can just feel it. <laughs> oh boy. What happened? <laughs> it was not. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect Hydrating Primer, or Primer, Powder. <laughs> My little powder brush from Profusion. Powder. My face. <laughs> what else would you powder? A baby's butt. So that's my why I hate the end of every single year story. Mm. What the hell was that? What was that? Y'all heard that, right? I can't. I can't. I can't. All right. Do the nose a little bit. Oh, wow, that's too much. Stupid people. So stupid lawn mowers. Come on, man. You can't freaking mow the lawn when I'm not home. Like, what the hell? Freaking mow the lawn when I'm trying to film. Jerk. Like, they know. I have no idea. Not to mention where did, I don't know where that lawnmower just went. It went away, so. <laughs> Yay, me. All right, I'm going to powder the rest of my face. See, I think that might have worked last time, so we're going to do it again where I pulled my forehead back like Tati Westbrook said to do. And see, does that actually work when you powder like that? I don't know. I don't know. I can't decide. Would you hate that? You're like, does it work? I'm not sure. Okay, who the hell is up? Like, stop. Just stop. Where are you? Why Why were you there and then gone and now back there again? I'm like, no. And now where'd you go? Where is this motherfucker vacuuming? <laughs> no, mowing. Vacuuming, Jimmy, come on. Oh gosh, okay. I'm trying not to panic. Don't panic, okay, won't. All right. Good, enough. <laughs> not perfect, good enough. All right, <laughs> now I'm going to, I'm going to use my Believe Beauty Sunstruck Marbleized Bronzer, bronzer in Sunkissed Honey, and I'm going to contour with that. Oh my god! Thank you. Trees. Couldn't open it. Wouldn't open. It was like, no. No ma'am. All right. I'm doing it again. See, now the lawnmower is like gone. What the hell is going on? I don't know what that thing. I came home, my heat was on, and I was like, what the hell is my heat on? Like, it's not that cold today. It's like going to be in the upper 60s. Like, what the hell is my heat on? Well, Draggy, because one, your house has been closed up all day, and uh, two, your heat's set on like 72 or something. And it's not 72 outside. Duh. Oh my goodness. Got a little bit of a tiff. A little tiff with my dad yesterday. About the stupid COVID shot. Freaking COVID, man. I, I was trying to figure out the point, okay? I just don't get it. It doesn't prevent you from getting COVID. It just makes your symptoms lesser. It lessens your symptoms. Is that the word I've been trying? Is this how I've been trying to figure this out? Okay, so it lessens your symptoms. It do, It's not like the flu shot. The flu actually helps prevent you from catching the flu. You can still catch it, but it's rare. It depends on the, the like, I don't know, there's like influenza B and shit like that. So... But 
The COVID shot does not prevent you from catching it. It just lessens your symptoms. So I, my dad told me that, cause I have to take him to get his flu shot. Here he got the COVID shot and now he's getting his flu shot, which my brother advised him not to get them at the same time. I don't know, cause he's old. I have no fucking idea, but anyway, so I gotta take him three different times or three different shots, whatever. Anyways, okay, that doesn't matter. What matters is I said out loud, <laughs> I really gotta learn to stop talking. Um, I don't see the point in getting the new COVID shot because it's not gonna stop me from getting COVID. And holy shit, did my dad get mad. Oh yeah, oh he was pissed. So, I was like, it doesn't make a difference. He's like, if you catch COVID, what about me? And I was like, if I get the shot or don't get the shot, if I catch COVID, I can't come here. So it doesn't make a difference if I have the shot or not. I can still catch COVID. And then he's like, you can get, if you get the shot, you'll only have COVID for a couple days. If you don't get the shot, you'll have COVID longer. And I'm like, I don't think that's how that works. Now, granted, I'm not positive that's not how it works. I just feel like that's not what I've heard. So I was like, I don't know that. I was like, all it does is lessen your symptoms. It's like if you have a cold and you take cold medicine. I was like, the cold medicine doesn't help your cold go away. It just helps to lessen your symptoms so you don't feel as crappy. I was like, it's not, like it doesn't freaking, I don't know. So Saturday, I'm going to get my COVID shot. <laughs> it just wasn't worth arguing about. I've gotten every other one, screw it. If, if it'll make him feel better, I'll just fucking do it. I don't, I'm not gonna fucking argue about it anymore. I'm gonna use this Revolution Super Bronzer. Um, so yeah, that was our little argument. He was like, I can't believe you think this way. And I was like, oh, of course you can't. I felt like, <laughs> I might be wrong. These words never came out of his mouth. However, I felt like he was choosing his words very carefully. <laughs> like he was, he wanted to call me stupid, <laughs> but he didn't call me stupid. Like he was thinking you're stupid, but he didn't say it. But just the way he was slowing down what he was saying, like he was really trying not to call me an idiot, made me feel like he he wanted to. <laughs> Have you ever felt like that when you feel like somebody wants to call you a dumbass, but they're trying really hard not to? That's what it felt like. <laughs> so I got his dinner ready. Like he was mad, dude. Like he was mad. And so, like, I was like, okay, so you want dinner? He's like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I was like, oh, Jesus. So after I did that, did his dishes, I, uh, I just, get, I was like, screw it. Because he was like, you can get the shot well, when I go get the flu shot, blah, blah, blah. And that's when I was like, yeah, I really don't know about the COVID shot, though. Cause it, I mean, but anyways, so after I did his dishes and I went, sat down was waiting for him to finish dinner so I could do pick it up and do his dinner dishes. And <clears throat> I just went on walgreens.com and freaking decided it's, I'm just not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it to me to fight about it. Okay, so I'm going to take this beautiful Beauty Bay, Bla hmm, Beauty Bay blush in the shade Royal. What did I just hear? And why do I keep hearing things? Yeah, I think that was a refrigerator. I'm so paranoid. I have reason to be paranoid though. Just when you think you got them all, another one shows up and you're like, are you fucking kidding me? Yep, happened the other day. Saw it. Little bitch was right over here too. And then ran across the kitchen. During the day, I thought these little assholes came out at night. No, 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 they come out whenever the fuck they feel like it. Okay, swearing too much again. All right, here, let's take some. I wonder how pigmented this is. We're about to find out. Ooh. 
pretty. Look at that. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, you see that? I just tap a little because I don't want to go crazy. This is pretty dark. And as we uh, discussed earlier, I'm pretty white. People are going to find this video and have no idea what the hell I was just talking about. <laughs> Millie, what the fuck is she talking about? If you know, you know. If you've been here, you know. If you haven't, maybe you need to go back and watch some of my videos. Damn, Jaggy, you look in red. I may have gone too far. No, it'll be fine. When I spray it, it'll be good. It'll be good. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Brows, bro. You gotta open this brow mascara. Hey. There it is. <laughs> Maybe. This is from AOA Studio. This is by, oh, have you been to Shop Miss A? I love Shop Miss A. They have nice stuff. I mean, for the price of their stuff, it's good stuff. Okay, what was I going to do? Brows. That's what I was going to do. I'm going to do something. I don't freaking know what. Let's see. Let's take... No, I don't want... Where's the... Where's... No. Here it is. Okay, I'm going to use a brow blade by Revolution. Why do I keep going back to Revolution? Makeup Revolution shit. I almost like it. I don't know. That's what I'm going to use. This is in light brown, I think. They didn't have taupe. I don't know what they have against taupe. But they got something against taupe. This is brown, right? Am I right? <laughs> it doesn't say, does it? Brown. No, it doesn't say light brown. It just says brown. I guess my roots are kind of dark, but they're not like brown. Are they? I don't freaking know what hair color I have anymore. It's like dirty blonde, and I hate that phrase. It's not dirty. <laughs> Just some stupid ass shade of. It's almost like mouse. Mousy. I don't freaking know. It's like not brown, but it's not blonde. It's like. I don't know what the hell it is. Which is probably what they call it, dirty blonde. I don't know. I hate it. Natural hair color is freaking stupid. But I shouldn't complain because it hasn't turned gray yet. I said yet, universe. Ooh, ooh, I'm a little crazy there. Calm down, girl, calm down! Ugh. <sighs> All right, hold on, this is gonna stop. I be taking too long, y'all. Did I? Yeah, let's, let's, let's. Are my brows actually growing in down here? What? What is happening? Do I have ends? I have brow ends. I haven't had brow ends in a long time. Why haven't I? Probably because I pluck them because I'm an idiot. All right, there's that. Now let's try this clear. Go Brow Brow Mascara. It looks like this. Let's open it up and look at the brush. Ooh, look at that little itty bitty tiny brush. Cool, cool. Let's see, let's see. Ooh. One there. Oh gosh, don't go crazy with it. it with this because I like to brush through things. I don't know why. I just feel the need to and if I don't it'll bother me. Don't know why. We're gonna let it sit for a moment so it can dry a little bit and then I'll see what it feels like. See if it's crunchy or sticky or whatnot you know. Ooh. 
which it might not be because I brushed through it with the other brush. I don't know. Maybe that's why I do it. I don't, I don't know why I do things. I just do things. Okay. I'm just going to let that sit for a minute. Oh, goodness. Let's see. Ooh. It's not sticky or crunchy. Huh. It's, I like, it's nice. Okay. Kind of adds a little definition to your brow hair so you can tell they're actual hairs. You didn't just draw on your face with a pencil. You know, you know what I mean? I think you know. Okay, nice. All right, anyways, uh, spray. We're spraying the face and we're gonna use this hydrate, hydrate and fix radiance makeup fixing spray. Long wear oil control with hyaluronic acid. Spray fixing something in French. <laughs> is it French? Well, this is Makeup Revolution London, but that ain't, for, that ain't English. All right, doesn't matter. You just spray the damn face. Just spray it already. I gotta stop spraying so much. It gets all over my shirt and in my hair, and then my hair goes all weird and shit, you know? And then it, it smells kind of. What does it smell like? Uh, kind of mm, like a chemical. Reminds me of a shoe store. Rubber? I don't, I don't know what it smells like. It smells like something. I just don't, I can't put my finger on it. But when I spray it, it makes me think of a shoe store. So whatever that smell is, it, it has a slight scent like that. I know, random and weird, but. Okay. There's that. Did I warm up my face enough or am I still too white? No, I think I'm okay. I, am I? I think, mm, am I? I didn't use a highlighter. Son of a bitch. Okay. You know what I did? I somehow magically lost a highlighter. It was the one I used at for somebody's wedding. And I know, I remember double checking to make sure I packed everything. So, and maybe it's still in my purse that I used to put all my makeup and shit in. I don't know, maybe. I'm just gonna use this Gerard Cosmetics. It's the e.l.f. one that I'm missing, the baked e.l.f. one. Anyways, uh, Gerard Cosmetics in Grace. This is a pretty one too. Oh, look at that's nice, right? Look at it. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's pretty. Mm, I like it. Can't believe I almost forgot highlight. Is that even like legal? Do you know how many people don't use highlight? A lot. Cupid's well, even though it gets covered up with lip liner. La 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 la. We gonna do right, 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 right. Okay, 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 okay. I gotta hurry. All right. So for the under eyes, I'm going to take the outer corner shade, and I'm going to put that all the way across. Ooh, pigmented man. I like to keep it simple on the bottom. Just take like the outer corner shade, put it all the way across and take the transition shade and buff it out. And voila, you have a bottom lash line. Bam, how you like them apples? Whoa, Jackie, calm down. And then you add mascara, which I'm gonna use the e.l.f. mascara because it's easier to use on the bottom lashes. Jackie, you're so freaking weird. Y'all, right. I have gotten out of touch with new makeup. I haven't watched a makeup video in a long time. I've been watching a lot more true crime. I discovered 
Annie Elise's <laughs> channel, the um, Tend to Life True Crime channel, and I've been like binge watching her videos. And then there's always, you know, Crime Weekly with Stephanie Harlow and Derek Levasseur that I watch. You know? There's always something. And so I haven't really been keeping up on the new makeup, so I need to get my touche. I'm gonna take this uh, extreme lasting silky nude essence eyeliner, put in the waterline after I clean it off and get the black off of it. Ta da! All right, now we need to do the lip. We're gonna see how pigmented this is. So, this is LA Colors Plump Gloss. This is in the shade Madness. That's a fun shade name, huh? Sounds like me. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, come out, come out, come out. Come out, come out where you are. Oh, shit! It's got glitter! <laughs> Sorry. It has glitter. Hold on, let's see if I can swap it and show you. Ooh. Ooh, it smells good. That's interesting. You can see the glitter like in the tube. Oh, hold on, let's see if you, I, can I show, can you see the glitters in the tube? But when you put it on, you really can't tell that there's glitter. You see, do you see? It's shiny, but you can't really see the glitter. I guess you can if you look real hard. But that's a pretty color. Okay, so where are we gonna put that on? <laughs> I'm so good at this. Um, let's see. I don't know, some type of lip liner? Uh, hmm. Do I have like a burgundy ish? Hmm. Use this. This is uh, la, 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 la. Poudier, Poudier Stereoscopic Lip Liner in the shade number P1201-01. It's this color. Let's see. Oh, I've used it before. Okay. Is it a burgundy or is it too red? Mm, it'll work. Let me sharpen it a little. God, I hope you're stupid, damn it. I was gonna say, I hope you're stupid long or I won't start. And it started. Crap. You know what I hate when you're trying to sharpen a pencil and you end up breaking the tip off? Yeah, I hate that. That sucks. All right, it's gonna have to be good enough, you know? <sighs> Okay. Yeah, I gotta fill it in. It's a little brighter than I anticipated it to be, but it's fun. It's fine, everything's fine, it's fine. I should take a sip of my Sprite before I put this gloss on, huh? Okay, now we're gonna add the plump gloss. What does that smell like? See, I was expecting it to smell like cinnamon. It smells sweet. Like frosting or something. Okay. Ooh. Mm. That looks pretty over that lip liner. It's a little more red than I anticipated. Oh, it's fine. It's definitely redder than I thought it was gonna be. But that could also be because of the lip liner underneath. It smells good though. I can feel the tingle. I don't know how plumping these things actually are, but I can feel the tingle. Try it. 
try not to get it on our teeth. Probably shouldn't eat it either. Who knows what's in lip plumping glosses if it's safe to ingest. Okay. My hair's a hot mess today. Wow, damn, Jack, you look crazy. Okay, so this, this is the final look. Just playing with some of the makeup that Stacy sent me. All right. I like this look. I think it's pretty. Lips a little too red for the eyes, but it'll do. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. Comment. I comment back. Ask my friends. They'll tell you. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you will tune in for future videos because we love playing with makeup. New makeup, older makeup, just makeup in general. So don't feel like I only use new makeup because <laughs> I don't. I really don't. Uh, so yeah, sometimes we just play with makeup just to see what different looks we can make. So yeah, hopefully you tune in for future videos. And if you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, if you haven't yet and you've made it this far, might as well just subscribe now because you're gonna do it eventually. You might as well just do it now. And yep, that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day.